Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing Outre Melted Hairline in the style Seraphine, and I got it in the color DRFF2 slash Cinnamon Mocha. This unit is a middle part lace front wig, and it also comes with a glueless band as well. Prior to filming, I did go in and tint this lace with my Eben Lace Tint in the color Medium Brown. So first things first, I'm gonna pin the hair out of the way so that I can get to the air tabs, and I'm just gonna cut each air tab off on both sides of the lace. Now I'm cutting my lace into three sections and work on each section separately, starting with that middle section. And to install my lace, I'm going in with the Even Firm Hold Spray, and I'm applying one layer of that spray. I'm blow drying the adhesive spray on a medium heat setting so that the spray can get tacky enough for me to lay my lace down. And for the other two sections, you are going to repeat the same process. I'm going in with the even firm hold spray to spray over the lace again on each section just to make sure that the lace is fully glued down. Now that the entire lace is glued down, I'm going in with my elastic band and my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting. I'm gonna blow dry this lace for about five, 10 minutes max. And I'm doing this just to make sure that the lace is fully glued down and secured. Now that the band is off, I'm gonna go in with my comb and I'm gonna comb back any unnecessary hairs that can possibly get in the way of me cutting the lace off. Now when it comes to cutting the lace, I like to cut my lace in a zigzag motion and I also like to cut my lace by sections because I just find it easier to cut it that way. And the reason why I cut my lace in a zigzag motion is because I feel like when I cut my lace this way, it gives the lace more of a natural look. Now I'm going back in with my Even Firm Hold Spray and I'm going to spray the areas that did not fully glue down.
now I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color level 15. And the darkest shade on that palette is what I'm using to blend my lace with my skin tone. And for some reason, I feel like when I add the foundation on with my finger as opposed to using a brush, it just look so much more natural. Like I just feel like the foundation blends almost seamlessly when I use my finger. For my baby hairs, I'm gonna go in and tweeze my baby hairs. And I'm gonna pluck them until the baby hairs are very thin because I like to go for a more thin, natural baby hair type of look. I'm going back in with my foundation on certain parts of the lace because every time I pluck my baby hairs, especially on synthetic wigs, for some reason the lace gets this like white cast on it. It almost looks ashy. So I'm gonna go back in and make it look natural again. I'm using my baby hair flat iron to curl these baby hairs. And I feel like this step does make it easier to manage the baby hairs when I'm styling them. To style my baby hairs, I'm using the Eben spray again. And this really helps to keep the baby hairs in place. And honestly, it really don't move when I use this product. I like to go in with my blow dryer immediately after styling them to keep the baby hairs in place. Now, if you want your wig to look natural and not wiggy, you wanna go in with the blow dryer and a brush on the hottest heat setting, you're gonna go through the top of the wig and just brush it out. This will help flatten the wig. Before, I used to use a wax stick to flatten the top of the wig, but then I noticed that the wax stick doesn't do anything except weigh the wig down more. It's just unnecessary products, so. Yeah, no more wax sticks on a synthetic wig for me. Now it's time to brush these curls out and see the actual style on this wig. And when it comes to a synthetic wig, I like to brush from the bottom and then work my way up to the top, just so that I don't run into any tangles and knots.
I'm using the Eben Wig Knot Concealer to enhance my parting space. And I like to rub the concealer in so that it looks more natural. Okay, yeah, so here's the final look of this unit. This is not my first time wearing Outre Seraphine. I had this unit before in the color black. I loved this unit before and I definitely love this unit now, especially with this color. This color is giving full time autumn. It's just the perfect full look. My favorite thing about this unit is definitely the color, but I absolutely love the curls as well. And with this unit, I can really run my fingers through it with no problem. I guess the cons about this unit is it does shed, but only a little bit. I didn't get like excessive shedding with it. And also I do wish that this unit was an actual like 13 by six frontal wig, but I've just wished that all frontals are 13 by six frontal wigs. So yeah. Seraphine kind of reminds me of Sensational Solana and I love both units. Both units are like a classic unit for me. So I'm definitely happy about this wig. The density on this unit is perfect. I love the length and I also feel like the wig is very soft for a synthetic wig. So of course I had to try the flip over side part look on this unit and it just looks so cute this way honestly if the middle part is not given the side part definitely have to give because i mean just look at it and it's so easy to do you're literally just flipping the hair over and brushing it out like it looks so cute this way as well Overall, I believe Seraphine is definitely that girl when it comes to a synthetic classic. So I knew I was going to be happy with the outcome. Thank you for watching and make sure you stay tuned for my next video.